Shiba Inu coin is a crypto project known for creating millionaires and millions of losers as its extremely volatile price swings up and down. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about some positive catalysts in Shiba Inu's future and why you should hold at least 1 million Shiba Inu coins if you do choose to put money into this very risky crypto play. So let's start with an overview of what Shiba Inu coin even is and why this crypto is named after an adorable breed of dogs. Because seriously, look at those things. So Shiba Inu traces its origins back to Dogecoin, which was the original meme coin crypto. As far as I can tell, Dogecoin was created when someone said people like dogs and people like crypto, so let's put them together. But as simple as that sounds, this turned out to be a powerful combination. And as the original Doge memes, mostly of Shiba Inus in one form or another, started to include Dogecoin, the crypto took off. But what started as a joke quickly became a lot more serious, as people started making serious money investing in the Doge, with some early investors making more on Dogecoin than they did working their jobs. And as Dogecoin rose up the ranks of cryptos, some supporters like Elon Musk even said it was a better digital currency than something like Bitcoin, since it was a lot cheaper, easier to transfer, and it was inflationary. But after Dogecoin's meteoric rise in 2021 and eventual peak, the coin has since lost 90% of its value, leaving many who missed out wishing that they could have had a piece of that, which is where Shiba Inu coin enters the stage. Spurred on by the success of Dogecoin, we saw many other meme coins pop up supported by investors who wanted to get in on the ground floor of the next big thing in crypto. You had Safemoin, Doge Lawn Mars, Loser Coin, another coin whose name I can't say on YouTube, but none of those coins had the same staying power as the coin we're talking about in this video, Shiba Inu coin. Shiba Inu is currently the 14th largest largest crypto by market cap, and only a few billion dollars smaller than Dogecoin in terms of overall investment dollars. But now that we have the backstory, let's get into a few catalysts in Shiba Inu's future which could bring more attention to the coin, and then talk about why owning at least 1 million Shiba Inu tokens is the sweet spot for most investors. So hey everyone, welcome to FinTech, hit the like button if you want, and let's start with those catalysts. So Shiba Inu is like a lot of meme coins in that it doesn't run on its own independent blockchain. Instead it runs using the Ethereum chain as its backbone. This means that catalysts for the Ethereum ecosystem, especially technology improvements to that backbone, can benefit Shiba Inu as well. So to just use a simple framework, we'll break this section down into two types of catalysts. Number one, publicity catalysts from more people adding money into Shiba Inu's tokens ecosystem. And number two, from technical catalysts from changes to the Ethereum backbone. So for that first category, we can really only speculate on how Shiba Inu might see more publicity in the future that draws in more crypto traders. Since this token's origins tie back to Dogecoin, which was started as a meme, this really depends on when the next wave of crypto hits and whether or not Shiba Inu can ride that wave to the top. There's really not a lot of certainty here and I don't wanna act like I'm an expert at timing these sorts of things. And quite frankly, I wouldn't trust anyone who says that they are. So let's just focus for now on that second category. The second type of catalyst are technology catalysts, both from improvements to the Ethereum backbone, as well as from Shiba Inu launching new features to draw in more interest directly. And if you haven't been closely tracking Shiba Inu over the past few months, there is some pretty interesting stuff that's coming out. So let's start with the changes to Ethereum and then we'll talk about the Shiba Inu specific changes. So Shiba Inu runs on top of Ethereum's blockchain and Ethereum runs using what's known as a proof of work model. The foundational core of every single crypto is the fact that a decentralized set of users can verify that every transaction on the network is legitimate by checking that every other user user has the same set of transactions and no one's faking anything. How this is actually done is a little technical, but basically Ethereum requires people to mine new blocks of Ethereum before transactions can be added to the network. This mining is done using huge amounts of computing power and tons of expensive GPUs that suck up electricity like sponges in the desert suck up water. In fact, the whole proof of work system is intentionally set up this way to have wasted work to prevent any one individual or group from having the resources to mine mine more than one block in a row, which would effectively allow them to fake a transaction. As long as no one group controlled the majority of the computing power on the network, the blockchain would remain secure. But there are a few problems with this. Number one, it requires tons of physical computing resources, which is why there was a shortage of GPUs on the market for other purposes like gaming over the past few years. Though that does seem to be clearing up now. Number two, it wastes massive amounts of electricity, which acts as a barrier to adoption of widespread cryptos. Ethereum a few months ago was estimated to use more electricity than a small country. And while some hardcore crypto folks might think that it's worth the trade-off, you can't 
deny that the energy usage acts as a very real barrier to the general public adopting crypto, since a lot of people do view it as an energy intensive environmental disaster. And number three, proof of work can make it expensive to make transactions on Ethereum's network. Like when I spent $70 to mint my own NFT in this video. But with Ethereum 2.0 on the horizon, we may soon see that barrier start to drop and new money may start to flow into the Ethereum ecosystem. And as the rising tide lifts Ethereum, it could impact smaller, more volatile cryptos like Shiba Inu even more intensely than Ethereum itself. Let me show you. Ethereum was never meant to permanently stay in its current state. The set of improvements formerly known as Ethereum 2.0 have been in the works for more than half a decade at this point, since this token was first launched. One of the first upgrades that will be made to the network is to move Ethereum and any tokens that run on it away from the energy intensive proof of work model and over to proof of stake, where ownership in the token is used to secure it rather than work being done on the chain. So as long as no one person owns the majority of Ethereum tokens, Tokens, the network should still be secure. Now I know that's oversimplified, but I want to get to the important parts for Shiba Inu. What's important for Shiba Inu investors is that once this happens, transactions will be way faster and cheaper for Shiba tokens on the network. These improvements could offer very real benefits to Shiba Inu's price as investors who permanently avoided these cryptos either due to slow speed of transactions or due to environmental reasons will have all their fears addressed. Now the changeover to Ethereum's proof of stake is currently estimated to happen at some point in 2020. 22. And the speed improvements should appear once sharding, that's sharding with a D, is introduced to Ethereum in 2023 or 2024. But while we wait for that changeover, the Shiba Inu developers are working on their own improvements, which could act as a catalyst for the token all on their own. In a recently published Medium article, Shiba Inu's lead developer, Shitoshi Kusama, wrote about some new updates for Shiba Inu, including the announcement of Shi, a new stablecoin that should track the price of the US dollar and be released sometime in 2022. The goal of this coin will be to avoid the fate of other stable coins like Terra Luna, which ultimately ended up collapsing back in May 2022, while providing a stable place to keep your crypto and avoid some of the volatility of a token like Sheep. Shitoshi also announced a new rewards token called Treat, which will be given out to users of Shiba Inu's metaverse and the blockchain version of Shiba Inu's card game, which is announcement number three. Shiba Inu is launching a card game, billed as the best collectible card game on the planet. And Shitoshi plans to make a full announcement about this in the near future. Now in the current crypto market where everything is pretty much trending down or flat, Shiba Inu's token did not react much to these announcements. But if Shiba Inu can successfully deliver these features in a stable and reliable way, it could attract more people to the ecosystem and in turn grow the price of Shiba Inu coin. Now all that being said, here's why holding Shiba Inu in a wallet and just waiting for the price to go up is a terrible idea. And then based on that, here's why I also think you should hold 1 million Shiba tokens if you're going to invest in it. So unlike a crypto like Bitcoin, which has a set number of tokens, meaning at a certain point, there will be no more Bitcoin coins ever created. Or like Dogecoin, which keeps on creating more and more tokens forever. Shiba Inu is actually deflationary, at least on the surface. So something like Dogecoin is inflationary, meaning it acts kind of like a real currency that decreases in value over time. Shiba Inu, meanwhile, is like Dogecoin's mirror reflection collection, where it started out with a much greater supply of tokens, but every year 1% of that supply is supposed to be burned. This means that all else being equal, Shiba Inu's price would go up each year if no one moved new money in or pulled money out of the coin. Now this 1% burn rate could go even higher if communities burn tokens in the burn portal, where you'll get paid to burn some of your SHIB to reduce the overall supply, or from ShibaSwap 2.0, which is a decentralized exchange for buying and selling SHIB while also providing another burn mechanism. Now there are a lot of articles arguing that while this burning effect is deflationary, it may not have a noticeable impact on Shiba Inu's overall price. Since the burn rate is only dropping the supply of tokens a few percent per year, that gets massively outweighed by the real value driver of the token, which is the meme. Basically how much money people dump in or pull out of the token. And that's just several orders of magnitude greater than the burning itself. Just for reference, the token returned 49 million percent 
percent in 2021, but it's done a little bit worse than that in 2022, with the crypto sell-off having it down 70% as I am filming this video. So that's a lot of volatility, although admittedly its drop is only slightly worse than Ethereum's year-to-date return and Bitcoin's negative 60% return. So it's hard to see how much a 1% to 2% burn rate really factors into price swings that dramatic. That being said, this burning effect does exist and it does exert a small upward force on the price of Shiba Inu. But okay, what about that 1 million Shiba Inu number? Why is that the goal? Well, if I was going to hold Shiba Inu as a long-term investment and wait for the next meme cycle, which full disclosure, I am not doing, here's what I would do to get the maximum return on my tokens by holding at least 1 million SHIB tokens. The first option, if you have a large number of Shiba Inu tokens and you're fairly confident in your crypto skills, would be to stake your SHIB tokens on ShibaSwap, the official Shiba decentralized exchange. Here, you can bury your SHIB tokens for six months and withdraw 33% of your rewards each week. Doing this, you'll get paid out a 4.9% APY per year. Though you can get paid more by first swapping your SHIB for Bone or Leashed Coin and then staking those instead. The downside here is you need to know how to stake using your crypto wallet, though here's a good article which can walk you through how to do it using MetaMask. And then number two, you're locking up your tokens for at least six months, which is a pretty long time for not that high of an APY. But on the flip side, using this method, you can also stake as many tokens as you want. The second option, which I actually like a little bit more, is to stake your tokens using a centralized exchange like Binance. Right now, you can stake with Binance for 120 days, so just over half the time required for the decentralized exchange, and you'll be paid out 12.09% APY. Now, the minimum amount to do this is 1 million Shiba Inu tokens, so that's why I have the 1 million number in the title. Since if you're going to hold SHIB, you might as well get paid a higher APY to do so. The biggest downside here is you are using a centralized exchange, and we've seen other exchanges like Voyager recently declare bankruptcy, and a lot of people who kept their crypto with Voyager aren't going to be getting that money back. Secondly, locked Binance staking is not available in the US, and flexible staking, where you can withdraw at any time and is more broadly available, only pays out a 0.5% APY. So in the US, it probably makes sense to just go with the decentralized exchange and get your 4.9%. Now, let's say you don't want to lock up your crypto that long. Well, Binance also pays out staking rewards from anywhere from 10 to 90 days locked. So unless you need to trade even more quickly than that, this could be a good option for someone who doesn't want to hold for months. Now, the 1 million token minimum does still apply here and you need to trust Binance, which quite frankly, not everyone is going to do. So to recap, I personally do not plan to invest in Shiba Inu coin simply because it's too volatile for my style of buy and hold investing. That being said, it is still a very popular project and the meme seems to still be alive. Plus developers are continuing to make improvements to it while the Ethereum blockchain itself is also being improved. And I think if you are going to invest in Shiba Inu, you might as well get some staking rewards out of it by staking on Binance if you're outside the US or using Shiba Swap in the US. But the best option would be to hold at least 1 million tokens on Binance if your goal is to maximize your APY. And if you do want to hold your cryptos outside of an exchange, I have a link to the Ledger hardware wallet in the description. I do get paid if you use that link, but I also just genuinely think it's safer to keep the bulk of your crypto somewhere where you actually control the keys, especially if exchanges like Voyager keep going under. And then you can just put a little money into more risky stuff like staking Shiba Inu. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.